Hey guys, so uh, it's time to check out the official Android 6.0 Marshmallow update for the Nexus 6. Uh, I did just flash this on and wanted to do a quick little video having a look to see if we can see anything uh, different from the developer previews I've done. Uh, also, you can actually flash this on now from the developer website. You don't have to wait for the over-the-air update, uh, although you will need to have your bootloader unlocked to do that. And uh, you can see uh, it's not too much actually different in terms of the app draw here when it comes to the vertical scrolling. This is going to be the norm now whether you like it or not. Uh, I do like the way that you can go to different uh, letters though here uh, which is quite useful and also the way the most popular apps do come up here as well. Uh, if we have a look into the actual settings you can see uh, the actual version here, so Android 6.0 and it's saying security patch level as well which I think are taking security a bit more seriously now and you can have a look as well at the uh, the logo here which is pretty cool and hopefully we get uh, something interesting oh not this again see I was useless at this before and it seems that Whoa, we do have like a remixed version here of uh, this game. So, if you were useless before at this game, then you know you're not going to be very good here. Uh, but yeah, we'll have a look at that in some other videos. But other than that, you can see the UI. Uh, we do have some new kind of elements when it comes to the uh, like animations. I do like these square kind of uh, openings here. Uh, some of the biggest changes with Android Marshmallow is uh, the Google on tap feature. So basically now when you're on a website or something so like you're browsing the news or technology news, uh, you can basically hold down the home button here and then you can get fine-tuned information about whatever you're viewing. So if you like wanted to find a restaurant nearby, uh, you can also like hit this here and it will basically search for restaurants nearby uh, pretty awesome feature you know a lot of scope there for development uh, I think and uh, I think that's one of the main uh, pretty cool features if you do it from the home screen uh, you can see that uh, it doesn't actually come up with anything so definitely scope there for improvement of it uh, also, there's been some big uh, optimizations when it comes to the uh, battery. You now have this uh, doze feature, uh, which apparently uh, gives you deep sleep kind of optimization. And some people have been saying it's like doubled the battery life of the Nexus 5. Uh, so that is pretty awesome. You can see we do have some settings here uh, for optimization and uh, you can see each one here whether you want to optimize them or not uh, which is good uh, also app level permissions that's another thing here which is uh, quite interesting uh, if we go into here you can see we can configure uh, what is using what so if you don't want NSA tracking your movements you can turn it off basically for each app uh, which is pretty awesome uh, I was actually expecting like uh, multitasking to come on though uh, with the latest Android Marshmallow update like the ability for example to create different windows but I can't see any way to enable that just yet but maybe it will come on in like a, f a future update or something uh, in terms of the like essentials here like uh, those who are interested in the wallpapers you can see I do have this wallpaper on here uh, but I don't think there's been many kind of different wallpapers included here. You can see we do have some new ones, uh, but these are basically on the developer preview anyway. So uh, I think that Google could definitely uh, add some more wallpapers here for a bit more customization. And if we have a look as well on the actual settings, uh, you can see you go straight into the Google settings there. But if you look into the actual main settings, you can see things are quite similar to before really I can't see too much in the way of massive uh, different settings you do get memory optimization uh, sound and notification quite intricate there 
And I think uh, as well you can choose your different sound profiles uh, a little bit easier maybe than Lollipop which kind of messed it up uh, if you ask me. Uh, let's have a look at the lock screen. You can see uh, they've changed like the dialer button, no more uh, quick access to that. Instead you have like a microphone now and you can click that to do a quick Google Now search or obviously go into the camera here so I think the camera UI will be pretty much uh, the same I don't think there's going to be too much in the way of differences here you can see we get a nice circle now uh, which is very modular and we can have a look in the actual settings here so you can see we do get UHD support still and quite a few different camera options uh, but not huge changes really what's this photo spear we've always had that so not uh, massive changes here I don't think in terms of the camera but also uh, Marshmallow does give you better support for fingerprint scanners as well which we're seeing on a lot of Android phones it means that apps can make use of the uh, security features better like PayPal etc which is pretty awesome uh, there's also uh, some other kind of optimizations etc which I may have covered on other videos uh, which uh, are quite uh, good so you know I think uh, if you've got a Nexus 5 in particular here you definitely want to get this on your device uh, to prolong the life of the battery uh, I'm obviously going to be checking the battery life uh, on the Nexus 6 see how it's improved and then I will uh, report back but so far it looks like a nice clean update here uh, you know I think there's still room for improvement though when it comes to using the big screen uh, and hopefully other manufacturers won't take you know really long to push it out on the devices a bit worrying about uh, what Motorola was saying about not updating some older devices uh, that's a bit lame if you ask me hopefully they will listen to fan feedback and do that so yeah just a quick little look here at uh, the official Android uh, Marshmallow update if I get time I'll probably look at it on Nexus 5 as well uh, and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed the video and if you did don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one cheers